Good morning, people, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a jumble trail, or what they call it on here, a safari trail. Basically, people stand outside the houses selling their stuff, and you can go around having a look and buy if you fancy it or not. So I'm going to go there. I've only just came back from the car boot. I didn't film it because I went around once. I didn't pick up anything, but then I put my camera back, and guess what? I went around again and I picked up some really nice things, which you know me, what I always like picking up. Yeah, well, I picked up a lot of them. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. So let's get out. I've got about 15 to 20 houses to go through. So I want to get through them as quick as possible because obviously the England's women team are playing football today. And uh, even though I'm not a that bothered uh, i still want to watch it. it's still world cup final and hopefully we can win that but let's get out there and see if i can actually film a bit of footage i won't film much because obviously it's people's houses so let's get out there and see what we can find so i'm back home now and i've just got back from that safari trail couldn't get any footage it was just it just feels a bit weird going and filming in front of people's houses it's not right the car boot wasn't very good until I went around again. I left the camera because I, you know, some days you just have them days where you're like, what's the point? I'm not going to film stuff if there's not much there to pick up. You know, it's just a waste of time. But I did pick up some stuff and I'll show you that now. You can see this is all the stuff. And yes, if Selling Dan is watching this, he would be, he would be loving this now. Look, she got two wheelchairs and three walkers which two of them are four wheel walkers which are a little bit more expensive so i'm going to go through everything and yes you did see a game boy there but i'm going to leave that to the end because it's a nice game with that one so let's start off from the wheelchairs i've picked up an invercare wheelchair sold one of these recently for 85 pound picked up two of the wheelchairs he wanted 40 pound i said do you want to do it for 30 and he said yeah Somebody tried to actually get him and bid me more, but he said, nah, mate, I've already sold him, so fair play to him. This walker is probably the best walker of the lot. It's a it's a seated one, so it lifts up here, but it's also got a nice little place where you can put your stuff in. It's got the footholds, which is very um, rare, so you can actually sit down and put your feet on. Looking around £50, maybe £60, I'm going to put it on for £50. Um, I bought that for a fiver. There is actually another walker under here. This is another one where I actually got it from the Safari Jumble Trail. Um, it's in mint condition. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It had priced at £5. And I just said, yep, yeah, I'll have that. Looking about £40 to £45. And the last one is my standard things, what I always get. I seem to get one of these every single week when I go on a car boot. Uh, a tri walker really nice condition i actually i've got a red one i think or have i sold it i can't remember i have so many of these now they just come in and come out i literally should just set up a mobility um shop because i think i've got as many as them now i've got three in the house and i got these so i don't know where these are gonna go i really need to sort that shed out yes i still haven't done the shed but yeah 30 quid for these they're actually going up in price they're actually i've seen a lot for going for 40 pounds so i might put this on for 40 pounds and it, because it is in such good condition so yeah 30 to 40 pounds for that this is a radio shack it's a mini desktop printer calculator it's like an old-fashioned one so you press your whatever your calculations and it'll print out like the receipt i don't know if it works um but if it does work it's going to be around the 20 to 30 pound mark different ones the casio ones seem to go for about 35 this isn't a casio it's a radio shack so it's not as good but yeah if it works i'm going to sell it put it on for about 25 with offers from the same bloke on the safari trail i got this this is a toshiba 14 inch color old tv uh, these are used now just for gaming i am um, old you know consoles and they are something you need to get if you see one of these pick it up i picked up this for a fiver this one has sold for 110 pound but that was with a remote i could actually go and buy a remote for like about seven pound on ebay or i could sell it on ebay right now for about 90 pound actually picked up some really good VHSs and VHS DVDs combos. 
I picked up two of these, these together from the same bloke. They was on top of each other. I said, how much do you want for them? And he goes, what, both of them? I said, yeah, do you want to do me a deal? And he said, so you can have them for a fiver. So I got both of them for a fiver. If you look at the makes, an LG one. So the LG one is roughly selling for about £60 with no remote. If it works, hopefully it works. This one, if you can see, is a Sony. So another good make. You're, going, you're looking about 30 quid for that, which is, I thought it'd be a bit more. Finally, the last one is a Bush Combo DVD VHS. And this has got the remote. Is it? Oh no, sorry. The LG has got the remote. So the LG is gonna be worth, yeah, around 60, uh, maybe 70 pounds. The Bush one, is going to be worth around about 50. I sell these quite a lot. They are very, very popular um, because obviously some of them you can convert the, the VHS into DVDs um, and obviously some people like to watch VHSs and some people like to watch DVDs and they don't want two things. Now on to the two pairs of trainers. I've got some fl nice fly knit free run trainers. These are very expensive. £100 brand new these were. She said she had only worn once. Her husband bought them for her when he was away. And yeah, they didn't fit. So they couldn't take them back because it was miles away. Um, paid £8 for these. But fly knits do sell very well. And these are very, very nice. They are looking around the £40 mark in the ones though. These are absolutely lovely. I'm tempted to give these to my lad. Got these on the actual car boot when I wasn't filming. Um, a woman wanted these for her son and she, the son was there, he wanted them. So I went, oh, they're nice. Let me check if they're real. So the good way to check out if um, Nikes are real is obviously check the bubbles and that, but is doing this. And I saw this on YouTube. What you want to do is you want to squeeze this as hard as possible. If this pops up really easy, then they are definitely fake. Most Nikes will not bend or flex like that. They'll have a little bit in there, but most won't. Um, but yeah, these are in really nice condition. Uh, a son just, you know, don't fit her anymore. So he he wanted, you know, he needs some new trainers. But um, yeah, paid a fiver for these and they're probably gonna be worth about 30 quid, maybe 40 because of the condition. The last thing was on one of the last actual um, jumble trails houses that I was doing and it was this. This wasn't even on her little stall. It was in a house where I was just talking to her because there was nothing that, that was there. What I wanted, just a lot of kids um, toys, teddies and that. And I went, oh, um, shame, I'm really looking for some like retro stuff. And she goes, oh, I've got a retro thing. I says, what you got? I says, I've got a Game Boy. I said, have you? I said, so are you selling it? And she goes, hmm, it depends on the price. And I bought this for myself, but more I can sell. These will never go down in value. So if I could get it for the right price, I know I can get my money back. I don't care if I just get my money back because I wanted it for myself. A lot of these Game Boys now you will see and they are faded yellow. This is like new. There is a tiny little scratch there if you can see. That is it, but it's all working. I played with it when I was there. Um, and yeah, it's in really good condition. Game Boys probably go for about £60, I would say. 50 to £60 uh, boxed, obviously they go for a lot more. But the games, what came with it? Tetris is one of the games that came with it. You're looking about £10 for that. Road Rash, I had that on the Mega Drive. You're looking about £10 for that. Kirby's Dreamland, you're looking about £10 for that. The F1 race is not a very good game. Uh, you probably get about a fiver for that. But that one is the game that I saw. And that's this is really what made me want to buy the whole thing. Because what she quoted for, I knew this game was, must be worth at least £20, £30. And it was. These sell for £20 to £30 all day long. Mostly £30. So I've got to check them all. Hopefully they all work. I think it does because... The condition is a brilliant condition, but I paid £60 for this. So me just selling that 
I've made my money back just selling it like that. I've made my money back because a lot of people are selling Game Boys with a Tetris for £70. So I'm up a tenner already. That is 30 quid. Another 10, another 10, another 5. If you want to sell this, I'm looking about £125. I'll probably knock it down to about 115 maybe 120 and just put offers on because of the games. The game is it's the thing that people want to buy more than actual the game will now. I mean that is a very desirable game. I think that would be quite a desirable game as well because I remember that game and I know it's a wicked game. Love that you punch people on motorbikes. And then Kirby is always desirable. And I'm not really bothered if I don't sell it quick. Somebody makes me a good offer, um like maybe 110 I might accept it but it's going on for 125 I'm not having anybody try and say oh it's not worth that because I want it I want it for myself but I'm going to put it on there anyway because it's it's expensive and you know it's nice with all today's stuff um I spent 134 pound quite a lot obviously the game boy did bump it up quite a lot. If I sold all this for the prices I said they sell for, I'm potentially gonna get around about £760. That is obviously before um, fees from eBay and post and packaging. But yeah, 760 quid. I could get that maybe because I can sell these on Facebook market, a lot of the stuff, um, and they sell quite well because obviously everybody needs wheelchairs. The Game Boy, I probably could put it on Facebook market now and it'll sell literally before I even upload this uh, video. So yeah, quite a good day. It was bad at the start. I know I didn't get no footage, but sometimes you just can't get the footage um, when you want to. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and I will see you again with another video. Goodbye.